The play Vert's Halfback Under has been one of the best plays in Madden for the last several years. And in this video, we're going to show you a really simple setup that is going to take this play to a whole other level. And then really the only thing that's really challenging about, about the bunch offset verticals play is what do you do whenever they start cross manning and manning up certain players? This setup today that we're going to show you is going to do a really good job against that type of defensive approach. It's also a quick hike play, so you can snap the ball super, super fast. Now, the cool part about verticals is it's in a lot of different playbooks, pretty much almost in every single playbook in Madden. And I've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. And I think four or five of them have um, kind of this verticals play as one of the centerpieces of the offense. So if you want to check that out, I've got a full bunch off set out of the Eagles and Colts playbook, as well as the Bengals playbook. If you want to check that stuff out, everything's in the Patreon. You can join today for just 10 bucks. The link's going to be down in the description below. What we're going to do is we're going to post slot apprentice post or hot route master post the slot receiver and we're going to snap the ball as quickly as we possibly can if we get man coverage be sure to look to this running back out of the backfield as it can be one of the best ways to beat man coverage quick and efficiently oftentimes they're going to go user that post route and if they do this running back route specifically out of this play verticals half back under is going to be on a kind of like a speed in route now if you don't have um, the play verticals half back under in your playbook go ahead and put that running back on a texas route as you can see there, he's going to beat man coverage really, really well. Another route we want to kind of just briefly mention is the solo wide receiver on this fade. If they are not being disciplined with their defense, they're trying to play you in press man to man coverage. Oftentimes that is going to be wide open. The reason that we are using this slot apprentice post route is really for this adjustment right here, which is one of the more meta ways people like to play man coverage against bunch. They love to put the solo wide receiver side corner in an outside third, which will stop the streak, but it leaves this wide open underneath it. As you can see, one of the better routes in the game for attacking man-to-man. -man. You have three kind of centerpiece man-beaters on this play, and what this play really becomes lethal is what it can do for you against zone coverage. Against zone coverage, the tight end wheel route is one of the most effective routes in the game, as well as this little slot apprentice post. The beauty of the slot apprentice post is if they are in cover four or cover three, whether that be baseline press, really doesn't matter what they do with their coverage, this post is going to be open against pretty much every single zone. So once he clears the yellow zones, just throw that in with a outside pass lead. Make sure he catches that on the sideline, and you're going to be pretty good with that against most defenses. So what they're going to do is their user is going to basically be pulled out of the middle of the field, and he is going to be responsible for defending this, uh, this crossing route. So because he has to kind of come out of the middle of the field, now it's going to open up a high-low read on the right side between the tight end and the running back. You'll see right here, they kind of stay underneath on the running back. So we're going to throw that with an inside pass lead to the tight end. This is really effective, especially if you have um, set feet lead. With set feet lead, it makes this so much easier to throw this. And um, you're just you're just going to have a lot more success because you can throw that tight end vertical route into almost any window in this game. Now, another thing that a lot of people are liking to do right now is you're typically seeing some type of uh, double flat defense. And what a double flat defense is or double Mabel coverage is, is essentially we're going to try to send four people at the quarterback and then we're going to use her in the middle of the field now because they're using in the middle of the field here one of the things that we want to see is their user has to make a choice and oftentimes this user is going to go and guard the slot apprentice post so if the user chooses to go guard the slot apprentice post then the beauty of this play is we're going to have this tight end right up in this little soft spot against that zone as you can see right there but if their user decides, well, I have a zone over there to play, um, you know, deep, maybe I have like a deep cloud flat zone over there, then what they might decide to do is they might say, okay, well, I'm actually going to go and I am going to guard the tight end route because I have all these under, other underneath zones that are going to, you know, play underneath, right? So, and again, typically they're going to be sending four this year. Most people are, if they're not sending four, this guy might be in that vertical hook. But again, we showed you how we can manipulate that with the high-low between the running back and the vertical hook. So let's say they decide to go user the tight end, and they have that underneath yellow zone. And what you'll see is there's a window to throw this kind of right in that little pocket right before it gets to the cloud flat defender to easily complete this post against a double Mabel defense. Verticals really is one of the most effective plays in Madden 24 because of its plethora of options its ability to be quick hiked, and it's just downright potent route running options for you to be able to beat every single type of defense that you're going to face. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to check out more of how to run um, the bunch offset or just how to be a better Madden player in general, we got full defensive ebooks as well as full 
offensive ebooks and the Patreon. You can get access to everything by becoming a member today. It's only $10 to sign up and it will get you access to literally everything that I know about Madden. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.